you on this topic of housing, Adam. Thank you. The Census Bureau considers a rental vacancy rate of 5% to be balanced. New Hampshire's vacancy rate, 0.5%. New Hampshire Housing says finding an apartment right now requires, in their words, persistence, luck, and networking. Never mind the burden of actually being able to pay for the rising rental costs. So, Dr. Sherman, what ideas do you have to immediately help Granite Staters who want to find and pay for a rental home or who want to move here to take a job? Several things. First of all, we actually have a plan on our website, Building New Hampshire Values. It's a $35 million a year plan. It builds on the governor's $100 million plan, which fell incredibly short, only providing uh, services for about 2,000 out of the 20,000 needed units. So we look at, or I look at things as, we have to think about moving forward, strategic plan, so that we actually fully address the problem. We don't put a Band-Aid on it. When you look at the governor's plan right now, it's $150 million worth of applications. He's only able to fund 50 million of it. And the rest, what happens to it? There's no backup plan. There's no ongoing strategy. And this is classic for the governor because he just keeps putting out, putting band-aids on these issues that really need a thorough, full accounting, a thorough, full plan so that they can be addressed. All right, so Governor, you have pointed to Invest NH as the answer, which is federal money that's being used to help build more multifamily housing. But the first units won't be ready for at least a year and a half, almost at the end of the next governor's term. Uh, so what will you do right now to help people find a place to live and afford that home? Well, look, let's talk about Invest NH. $100 million plan. No governor in history ever proposed anything like that. We're getting it done. So I get Tom has a plan written on the website somewhere. Tomorrow at the Executive Council, the contracts come up and we're moving forward with the first 50 million. Then there's another 50 million that goes to cities and towns to incentivize a second round of projects. Plus we have a surplus fund and hopefully the legislature will come back and do that. So we're trying something that has never been done before and it's going amazingly well. We had this idea back in the spring, checks are going out literally in the next couple of weeks, shovels in the ground, these are shovel ready projects. Um, and it's gonna be incredibly successful. And these dollars offset the inflation that otherwise would have stalled these projects because the costs are too high. So what we're doing is, is absolutely transformational. It's, Tom's absolutely right. We have, we need, we have 20,000 units we need to put on the market. Why? Because we are the envy of the nation. Everybody is moving here. Business is expanding here. We're the fastest state in population growth. Those are actually really good things. It creates a competitive market. I totally get it. But those are really good things for the state when everyone's moving in, driving the, 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 um, the, oppor the economic opportunity on wages. Um, and, and so that's all a very positive thing in, in, in response. Oh, sure. And the state just has to create the program and, and move forward. Dr. Sure. Sherman, you were invoked 30 seconds. Yeah, I, I would point out the governor has had six years to put in this plan to come up with some solution. This isn't something that happens overnight. This is something that builds. We knew there was a housing crunch. We've had this on the table for legislation for a while. The governor has not addressed it, and the housing crunch has become a housing crisis. He actually had this funding for almost two years, and only towards the end of it did he actually put in a plan. The plan was two pages long, with no affordable housing mentioned in it. That finally, now, we have, uh, at five years, the affordable housing Doctor, becomes commercial housing. Time. That's Governor, not a plan. Tom seems to forget there was a pandemic <laughs> two years ago. There was a pandemic. And a lot of our, our opportunity is born out of the pandemic. We managed it so well. We became the state number one in personal freedom, strongest economy. Everybody wants to move in. And we move, move forward with this idea. You got to go through a legislative process. You can't just wave a, wave a magic wand and make it happen. But we did. We did actually move forward on it. And those checks are going out. Those are a reality that no governor in history uh, has ever even tried before. And we're making it a success, a reality for all these folks.